my gosh. <laughs> Welcome back to my youtube channel we are over 5,000 subscribers now oh my god guys thank you so much for being so supportive those of you who are new to my channel well welcome don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss all the upcoming videos now today i'm doing a special <laughs> home family edition this is just one of those videos funny videos i thought that i would share with you guys um so recently or oh, you all know my daughters came over for holiday and um because they're on school break, there's no more schools. Maybe soon they will open up, but we don't even know the fate yet. So Casey, my eldest, had a problem with that with her phone, and she kept telling me, "Mom, my phone isn't working. My phone is hanging." And I was like, "If it's not for those uh, like millions or million selfies that you have in that phone, you could have enough memory." Because her phone kept hanging, and like you know, it would not uh, take pictures sometimes. So even if I sent her anything that was important, she was not able to download it because all her selfies are like, she was, she, she was always like, oh, I'm holding that upside down, pardon me. Like 10, 15 selfies. Anyways, so I told her, delete some of the photos because I wasn't, thinking of buying a new phone yet. Leslie, my youngest, never had a phone. Um, so, um, her dad had me saying that she can have a new phone and that I don't want to buy a new phone yet, but she kept complaining and complaining and complaining. So he said, okay, there's an old iPhone upstairs. You can go grab it and use it, all right? And he said to me, you, can take it to a dealer and we can all take it to a dealer an iPhone dealer to have it flushed so that it can like have it can be as good as new rather of course I knew taking it to a dealer meant paying money and because I am that person who does everything for herself I couldn't wait to just be that iPhone dealer You know where to bring it anyway so that was sorted I helped them out he didn't know that I did that he didn't know I assisted him up to now until he sees this video he doesn't know that I'm the one who assisted them <laughs> so what we did or what I did was I took out his email I added Casey's email took out his phone number added Casey's phone number like I literally made the phone Casey's what I didn't know, because I'm not an iPhone user, is that all his devices were connected. So when I did that to this small phone here, this is the phone Casey was using. It's off now. Uh, when I did that to this phone, his laptop, his other telephone, his other like um, you know phone that he uses, all read Casey's name. Like the, the I don't know what's that called, the ID something ID. It's read as Casey one guy. <laughs> and so two days later, he came to me and was like, hey, the kids have locked me out of my gadgets. I can't log, I can't, I don't have access to the computer. I can do some stuff in the computer and I can do some stuff in uh, on the phone. So the kids, I don't know what they did, but it reads Casey's name now. I can't access it and I don't have her password. Cause we even like we put i literally put everything new so i was like hmm i wonder what they did because I, I didn't want to like report myself there and then i was like uh -uh, nah i'm not getting blamed for this not now let's just figure this out first so i was thinking i'm going to come in reverse but then i needed his code so of course i had to come out clean and said hey 
um, you know, we can fix it. I didn't still mention that I did it for them. So he still thinks that the kids did it for him, but he's obviously going to read this. I mean, see this video. It's also going to be a surprise. <laughs> Anyways, so um, what he did was <clears throat> he decided that uh, enough was enough. And because also Leslie has some online classes, like um, she's still studying online. And most of the time she uses my phone or she uses the laptop. So she said, I mean, he said that it was a time for Leslie to also have a phone. I mean, she needed a phone anyways. Um, according to him, that's what he said. I was okay with giving her my phone to use when the classes come and stuff. But he went on and bought new phones, like two phones for each one of them. Same um, make, but different colors. And the girls didn't know, they didn't have any idea. After dinner, one evening, a few days ago, we were sitting at the table. He went and brought the gadgets and said, hey girls, these are your phones. And he presented, he presented them to them. And the joy, the happiness. Oh my God, these kids were so happy. They're like, oh, ran and hugged him. But new phones. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's a big screen, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> they got very big batteries in them, so they last for a long time. But it takes like two hours to charge it fully, but then it's good for a couple of days. So how is your new phone? What are you checking? Oh, you're checking me out. How is the, how is the new phone? What would you like to say? To dad. Thank you so much. Yeah. And to me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And you, Leslie, how is your new phone? Awesome. Awesome. What are you checking up? Are you also checking me? <laughs> so, what did you like to say? Um, thank you so much. Yeah. And then you have to study hard, yeah? Because this is like a gift. You too, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after that, I think the phones are now filled up with tick, like a thousand TikTok videos or thousands of TikTok videos and thousands of whatever selfies from Casey. But the good part is that now the, everybody's able to access their online classes without having to come to me or going to dad to ask for the laptop. And it's peaceful. But then, of course, we decided to go. You know how you get a brand new car or you buy a car and you decide to go on a road test? So we decided to also go on a phone test. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's just. So we, we went on a phone test um, and, and, you know, we would try to see if it's capturing videos and, and photos properly outside. <laughs> Let's go see what these people are up to. I don't know if they're awake yet or not. Huh? You. Good morning. Good morning. You, you you woke up and you're taking selfies already, madam. If you had a dollar for every selfie you took, you'd be a rich woman by now. Huh? Wow. What? 
I told you guys, I told you. Look, it's selfies and selfies. Those selfies one day will not feed you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had your breakfast? No. Then? I'm going to take my breakfast. Go have your breakfast. Come, let's take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Go have your breakfast anyways. Go have your breakfast. Oh, and the sister. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi, Leslie. What are you doing? What's that? Math assignment. Oh, okay. That's good. But can you reduce the amount of music in your earphones, please? Eh? I can hear the music from here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, breakfast, huh? Go have your breakfast. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how it is with you and teenagers. I have to tell them, to, like, even breakfast, I have to tell them to go and do breakfast. I have to tell them to go do stuff. So, I have to follow this up. And then they have to go downstairs, have their breakfast, put their phones on that table, and have some breakfast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do that. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.